to win the Persians. And here it's the place where the famous field battle of Marathon took place. And I will tell you about the field of Marathon, uh, the battle of Marathon, but first let me respond to you about something very important. Let me tell you that if you're wondering about the Acropolis site, we said it was a religious center of the top. Who was allowed to go inside? Because there was a big entrance. They, they would go to the top only on two occasions. Whenever there was a festival to honor Goddess Athena, and at the end of the festival they had to sacrifice animals, that was the end of the festival. Second, whenever they wanted to thank Goddess Athena and gave her a gift. For example, I was a wealthy farmer back in, living back in ancient Athens. I wanted to thank my protector Goddess Athena for the very good prolific year that I had. That's why I would go to a sculpture, order a statue, and place it at the top of the rock in front of the temples. So back then, it was full of statues standing in front of the temples, all gifts made by the citizens of Athens. It was like an open-air gallery there. Okay, that is the most important thing. Now, um, okay, I have to tell you the story about the marathon. Uh, so, during the Persian Wars, many field battles and naval battles took place. One of the greatest was the Marathon Field Battle. And what happened there? Uh, I repeat, it's a place uh, exactly on our right, uh, where the field battle took place. Uh, after the Greeks won, because the Greeks managed to win during the field battle of Marathon, the general Miltiades, his name, ordered his fastest runner, Philippides, to run from the field battle at the center of Athens in order to announce the good news that we, the Greeks, ha had won. Can you guess the distance from here up to the center of Athens? It's exactly 42 kilometers. Oops, that's the distance of the marathon race. That's why when the first modern Olympic Games took place back in 1896, they thought, well, let's honor this great athlete, eh, Philippides, who ran from here at the center of Athens in order to announce the good news. Because I didn't tell you the most important thing. When he arrived at the center of Athens, running after running 42 kilometers, without taking a single stop, he went at the center of Athens. He said the famous word "nemikikamen," which means in ancient Greek "with one," and then he collapsed and he died. It's very difficult to run 42 kilometers. Uh, that's what happened back then. That's why back in 1896, since then, we have the famous marathon race, which means thousands of athletes are all gathered here on your right. Every year, uh, in the middle of November, they start running from here at the center of Athens, which is exactly 42 kilometers. The finishing line, though, it's inside the Panathinaic Stadium very close by to the key tours agency it's uh, about uh, 20 minutes walking from there please go and visit it because there the first olympic games modern olympic games took place it's all made of marble uh, of a capacity of 70,000 people so if you want to you can go inside if you don't want to go inside and pay a ticket you can still uh, stand from outside and take a picture of this great stadium uh, i don't know uh, does any of you have already participated in the marathon race no yes you have when 1981. okay that's 
it was a nice experience. We, we also have uh, five kilometers. Uh, you've done that as well? something else important this is the ski town there is a ski resort a couple of miles from here on the right at Achaba, you can see the sign and that's why you will see signs saying uh, ski or ski resort etc now take a look and see the houses and take a look and see there instead of just painting the walls some houses uh, they have this type of local limestone that's why they're unique and now something weird um, okay first let me show you the bridge here on the left there is a bridge and uh, you will see there is a lovely view uh, here they sell uh, local products like honey local uh, cheese as well it, it seems like mozzarella uh, but um, it, it's named it's formaella actually here on the left look at the view there is a huge gorge on the left the bell monument of the church here on the left okay it's not big ben but that's uh, the bell <laughs> monument of this village and something very important now this is not one waste and one way street so please, let's all pray to God Apollo that we will not meet another bus coming from the other side. Yeah. You will see it gets very narrow. I'm not lying at you. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now we can uh, test the abilities of our driver. No, I'm joking, but uh, it's a very, very... Uh, okay. Uh, go, go, Nick. Go, go, Nick. Okay. that you will Ooh. notice thank you thank you thank you Nick. thank you something else you will notice here it's i repeat it's a typical village of the countryside it's the fact that look on your left there in front of us there is a car okay with the lights on but uh, wait a moment why is he parked there because he doesn't care at all here i told you that there are only three thousand people the possibilities of the uh, police officer to be your uncle or your son or your cousin are very high here so they don't care they will never get the ticket no one from the greek family will ever give a ticket to his son or his cousin okay that's the reason why and after a couple of seconds because i told you it's a very tiny village you will see on the right this is the way uh to go to the ski resort
on the right you will see the sign saying towards the ski resort but we go straight ahead it's only 20 minutes from here but now we're going straight ahead we're very close to the side of Delphi please admire the view on your left <laughs> see where God Apollo decided to build his temple uh, okay sometimes I envy these local people here they can breathe tons of fresh air away from the air pollution of the city of Athens but I have to be honest with you if you come here for lunch probably you will never get your bill because here everybody is so relaxed they always say to you yes yes I will bring that to you in a couple of minutes and they never do that that's why we never stop at this village for lunch they're a bit slow you know people with no stress okay relax I will bring your bill Okay, now, and the trees as you can see here blossomed are uh, almond trees, almond trees, okay? Now, and let's talk about more about the oracles. Let me give you some examples. Okay, uh, one of my favorite oracles and uh, predictions given here were when once a man came here, he wanted to know if his wife was going to have a baby girl or a baby boy. So he came here, he asked the priestess Pythia and she responded to him like this. Sanctuary, I repeat, dedicated to goddess Athena. See how close it is to the sanctuary of God Apollo, opposite of us are the columns of the temple. Here is the, the sign saying what there is on the left. Now we are entering inside the city of Delphi and now I'm going to show to you where was the sacred water spring. Uh, Castalia the name of it. So imagine we, we are walking right now eh? and we're going it's morning we have to go and wash our hands and feet we're going to follow all the steps where was this place here at this corner where you will see a sign on the right at this corner there was the famous castalia water spray so imagine we all have washed our hands and feet i repeat here on your right see how close the sanctuary is it's just a few meters away now please take with you your listening devices if you need something from your bag down my walls you know you got me standing so tall with your love ain't gonna fall because you see me right through it all with your love canal below us, the canal, we have a huge problem with water uh, back in the city of Athens, since ancient times, no worries, that was happening and uh, that's why today we're bringing water from rivers running here, 
so they have constructed these canals they're carrying the water and the water is all gathered to huge lakes like the marathon lake and from there through huge pipes we bring the water at the center of Athens and I think now you can only see the marvelous view on your left it's more than 200 uh, kilometers. Yes, yes, it's far away. Something about water, uh, let me tell you, I don't know if you noticed that water, the bottles of water, the small ones, are very cheap here in Greece. Did you notice that? 50 cents? Well, that's cheap. A few years back, uh, some shops started to sell this small bottle of water for 3, 4, 5 euros. Of course, we protested. We always do that. And we said, sorry, but it's only water. And here in Greece, during summer, we need about five small bottles per day. We cannot spend a fortune to buy bottles of water. That's why there is a law that says you cannot sell this small bottle of water for more than 50 cents. If you go inside the supermarket in Greece, you will get it even cheaper, half of the price, say 16 cents. From Greece. We're here at a coffee stop. We just finished our day one of two for our Delphi and Meteora trips. So tomorrow is our last day here in Greece and we're flying back to Canada. So yeah, but you know what? It's been a great week here in Greece. I've visited so many places. It is quite cold here in this area. We are um, a few minutes away from Calab Calabaca. From Calabaca. So, how has the week been for us? How has it treated us so far? So now that's coming to, to an end. No complaints. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> One for the books. <laughs> one for the books, yes. The food's been great as well. <laughs> what happened? Is it big? Is it big? <laughs> it will happen. Mom! Not my neck. Oh! <laughs>
everyone, we are here in Meteora. We're taking a walk after our dinner. All the lights are open. It's, it's quite a fancy city. I think it's a city. Hey everyone, so this is day 4 of our stay here in Greece. So we are here at the Hotel Diwali here in Meteora and so we are gonna be having breakfast. So this is a breakfast buffet and so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what they have here. Of course I'm with my Tita A and my parents are just getting ready upstairs and they'll be here shortly. Hi Tita A! This is the video. Can be part of a vlog. So yeah, these are the foods. Uh, yes, <laughs> these are the foods that we have here. Got some strip hot sada eggs and an omelette. Said you should try, so we're gonna give that one a go as well. So it's a beautiful morning here in Greece. This is this is where we're gonna sit, and then this is the beautiful view from outside or outside the hotel. Some breads there as well. I forget that. So this is their candlelit like yard. Oh, and they, oh my gosh, there is many over it. That is. That is where we're gonna be going today. That is the agenda. And of course, we're gonna be we're gonna be eating inside. Have like a, like a honeycomb. So yeah, of course we're gonna be getting like one of everything in it. For two, three weeks, and uh, they used to fast, which means they couldn't eat meat. They were just eating some bread and drink water in order not to die, of course. Um, okay, I know, and I can see from here. I don't know if you're able to see. Let me stand up here. If you look here, there is a huge cave on our right and the, there are some wooden steps can you see them these were the steps from it's like they created a wooden uh, staircase mm -hmm. that's how they could uh, they were able to go inside the cave so they would come here and stay and many times them the members of their families would bring them some water the monastery that you can see exactly opposite of us it's dedicated to Saint Nicholas. He's the protector of the sailors. There on your right. 
and there only one monk is living inside this monastery. Uh, there are six uh, monasteries built at the top of the rocks. Four of them are for male monks, the two are for female nuns. That's why I have chosen a male and a female monastery. And then I will ask you what were the differences. Uh, you will see why I'm telling you this. Because I have to be honest with you. The first monastery, St. Barlam, that we're going to visit together, it has... everyone, so we're here at Meteora, we're in one of the monasteries. We're so high up. So, can you imagine how old this It's 400 years old, this barrel. Come, come inside and see. I have to check my flesh. Thank you. 